Hello all boys, girls, cats, and squirrels. Today we're back with another video, and this is a really random one, but I just felt like I needed to get a video out there because it's been like a month. And I have a reason for that, but I'll get towards that around the end. But what the main point of the video is today is there's a new POI. And here it is. <laughs> I was not expecting this, I'll be honest. Because it was I thought it was just the final water change. So I'm gonna go over some more map changes than that. But what why'd they just randomly add this? Like this is giant, this is crazy, this is huge. They just did it like I don't know where. They didn't even like hype this up or anything. My first time checking it out too. I've just seen it from a distance. What is this? What the hmm, looks like a frog egg. <clears throat> oh my voice is really scratchy. Yeah, so what from what I've heard, like on YouTube videos, there's a lot of chests here. Like, this is probably a really good place to land. Seems like- I don't see much floor loot, but there's a heck of a ton of chests. Yeah, this place is crazy big. Oh, oh my gosh, those are really cool ambient sounds. It's like- uh, Something- okay, you know what? That was kind of weird. But still. Oh, wait, you can't scope while you're jumping. I was going to scope in on the place, but- All right, well, that's not the point. So basically, in this latest map change, like all the beaches around the map are back to normal. Basically, the map is back to normal with this, and I'll explain some of the other stuff. You might see the Fortilla looks a little bit different, but we'll get to that. Yeah, so <clears throat> on my way to the Fortilla, I'm gonna explain why I've been gone for super long. And it's kind of simple. Oh, how does that take me? I don't know. But, so basically... Oh, I thought that was a glider to block. Alright, so basically... Um... I was trying to record my next Minecraft episode. In fact, I've already done half of it. But... I did this, like, thing where I talked over a time lapse and I explained. Because part of my footage got corrupted and then I was going to record the rest of my video. But of course, Minecraft does not want to cooperate. And so then, <clears throat> like, I have a disc for Minecraft. I got it for Christmas one time. Otherwise, I usually download all my games. But so basically, the disc start stopped working. So I don't know, am I going to need to get, like, a new account or something to get back that world? Or, like, if I download the game, will I get the world back if I put on my account? And I'm really scared because my world might get deleted. Why, why is there a floating whirlpool? What is that? <laughs> Isn't that like the drone from season 9? What the? Alright, well, I've never seen that. So, it all got deleted. And I was really scared, so I was just trying to figure out the way I can salvage this. And then out of nowhere, I'm going on a 14-day vacation. And so that happens, and then I'm like two days after not going into vacation, trying to come up with new video ideas. This isn't even that good of a video. I'm mainly just doing this to explain like why I've been gone for super long. And now it's just my upload schedule is just one month, one month, one month. I'm still trying to get better with this, guys. So just hang in there, and at least you're getting a video today. So, well, now we're pretty much at the Fortilla and Slurpee Swamp. I'll just cut to like the point where I'm actually there. All right, so now we're at the Fortilla. And, oh no. Alright, Dreary Jam, I'm recording a video, so you better back off. Alright? I'm doing a map change video, so please leave. Okay? Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for being- Thank you for understanding. Alright, so- oh, I'm gonna make my property. Private. So nobody interrupts on the video anymore. So basically, you come over here and you're like, what changed, Graham? I don't see anything that changed. So this entrance, right there, used to be right here. 
Yeah, the Fortilla. For no reason at all, really. Just randomly changed 90, like, turned 90 degrees. And this isn't even really a big change. But <laughs> I'm so confused. Why'd they just do it? It's so random. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was only one rig island before, like, in the last update. And so, the king is finally back. Slurpy Swamp, oh yeah. Now, there's something weird. For some weird reason, there's not Slurp coming out of these pipes. But you can still get it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, what is this? I think this is just a visual glitch. Or, oh no, there's like nothing coming out at all. Hmm. Wait, but I'm getting healed? I am so confused. Is this still unbreakable? Yeah. I think this might be a visual glitch and it's probably gonna be patched in next update. But yeah, Slurpy Swamp's kinda torn apart. We'll get back in shape though, if I know Slurpy Swamp. They on it. So, it's basically all normal. Like the swamps here and everything, but for some weird reason there's no slurp in the streams, but have no fear. You can still get the, um... Alright, now the other one didn't even have this thing pouring out of it. Does this heal me? Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure Slurpy Swamp will still heal you. But... I don't know. Maybe this is just the Battle Lab glitch? Now I'm doing this, I just realized this would have been so much easier in replay. <clears throat> so... Yeah, Hydro 16 is completely back as well. Basically, the entire map is. But, yeah. Alright, let's cut to the next map change. Alright, so, as I'm on my way to my next map change, I just saw this thing. It's like, near Misty Meadows and all that. And is this new or not? Someone in the comments tell me, because I do not remember this being here. There's an upgrade bench, chest... It's nothing like the pontoon type level, but... Yeah. Tell me in the comments if this is new or not, and also... This thing stayed, and I like it. Because... I like it. I don't know. Um, yeah, basically just this thing stayed. As a whole. I thought it was going to go, like around the end of the season. But, apparently not. Alright, let's cut the next map change. Alright, I think all my sweaty arena boys out there probably be happy about this one. Camp Cod is completely back. Yay! I never really cared about it because it's on the side of the map and it's like the rotation from it's horrible. But still, it's back. Also, there's a billion llamas on this mountain and it's weird. That's not the point. Camp Cod's back, baby. It's really torn up and all that, but yeah, it's back. And so... I'm not sure why, but some places just have, like, all this mud and stuff and seaweed and everything's torn around, while other places barely even look touched. Camp Cod was one of those places that got beat up real hard. So, still wondering why this isn't a named location. Like, come on. Probably have has more loot than Craggy at this point. So. Alright. Oh, and Chester to Chest is still here, too. Hope he gets help someday. Alright, let's cut to the next map change. Shipwreck Shore is completely back. Not sure if anyone really cared about that place. Alright, now I know, like, not even just sweaty players, but other casual players will be mad at this one, too. Grotto is still sealed shut. Yeah, kind of sucks. And so I was really hoping that this might come in on the last map change, because then, like, it's fully uncovered, the water could like drain out of the nose and eyes. Still sealed. No, still sealed. English gram. Alright, and then this place, Epic's just like, oh, you forgot about that door there. There was never a door. So, now I saw this one theory on YouTube and I thought I'd say it on the YouTube video just to spread this around, but basically, <clears throat> what it said is so basic, like, once the season ends, it's going to be like around Halloween time. <clears throat> And around there, Grotto's gonna open back up and turn into a spooky cave. And I like this fairy because it actually makes sense. So, oh, another Chester to chest. Why does he look scared? Anyway, I thought that was a really good fairy because it makes sense. Epic's gonna save this point of the location because Epic knows people are gonna check on this like every time there's map changes and stuff. 
And so this is a good opportunity in the future to add something different and new. And I feel like that's a really creative idea and something that Epic would do, so. I got a feeling they'll do it, so. Mark my word, if that happens. Say, Graham told you so. What? Why? I keep seeing these lines everywhere as well. I think this is a visual bug, but I'm not sure what it is. What is this? Yeah, why are these lines here? Anyway, let's go to the next map change. Yeah, for some weird reason, this little docking bay thing is here. I'm not sure if this was here the entire season, but yeah, nobody really cares about it. Alright, so I believe this is our last and final map change of the video. But this one's pretty cool. So, what this is, is... This is a crash site by some alien dude. Wait, you can do these challenges in Battle Lab? Locate and install the missing parts. Yeah, so what you're gonna want to do is you have to find all the missing parts to this dude's ship and launch it back into the air, and you get XP for it. So why is my... Hey, helicopter! Helicopter! What are you doing? My helicopter is running away from me, no! <laughs> Alright, I'll get him. <clears throat> I'm just getting a new one. Or well, actually, this is the final one, so it doesn't even matter. But, so basically, you're gonna find all these parts to load back up the ship. So, the first one is right here. Wait. Yeah, keeps disappearing. That's the first part you're gonna want. Return and install the part. Yeah, you know what this reminds me? This reminds me of like some of those creative HUD hub um whatchamacallit? Like those hub quests. Alright, well I'm trying to help you dude, but you're not letting me. Um yeah, so the next part is over here into this mountain. This one's pretty cool. Oh gosh, it makes a lot of sun, there's electricity coming from it. Oh, how am I oh wait. Just build. Ba chow. Yeah, so this is the next part. That's the thruster. And then the last one is over by this rock. You can tell by the buzzing sounds. Yeah, here it is. Ka Ching! Alright. So, you can do all these challenges for XP. I don't think this counts because it's in Battle Lab. But you can return back to the ship. I believe you can... Yeah. Install heat shield. ba -ching. It's gonna go on there? No, apparently not. Um... Wh where does everything else go? This is where the thruster goes. Right, and I don't know where the last part goes. Alright, battery pack. There we go. Now this is pretty cool. What you want to do is launch the ship. This is like a mini live event. Yeah, so it just stays like this for a full minute. Astronaut dude just chilling in there. I'm gonna catch up with this dude in my spaceship. So you're gonna have to stay here and protect the ship for like 60 seconds even though nothing really comes. I'm gonna get a good view of it. Wait, can I like destroy the ship while it's doing this? Wait, the thruster isn't even there. And all the pieces I added, so those were useless. Yeah, so there's a cool force field. Eight, seven, six. Alright, so it's going to launch. And it's like a mini live event. So what it does... Loads up. And it flies away. Pretty sick! Now, I didn't get any XP from that because I'm in Battle Lab. But, if you do that in-game, you can get yourself some free XP. And, yeah. Enjoy the free XP, guys, and thank you for watching the video. Oh, also, one last really cool thing. Four rifts appear, so. Call it now. Next season, it's gonna be alien-themed, and rifts are gonna be brought back. Just saying. So, got rifts. Go through them. They're completely functionable. Pretty sick. Thank you, Epic, for bringing these things back. I love them. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
and have a great day. Let me see if I can run into my own chopper. Ah! All right. Well, because I'm having a great day. Oh, wait, why am I saying this again? Bye.